So my girlfriend filmed this cool little wheelbarrow. It's a radio flyer. And she asked me if I had some wood laying around if I could fix this handle. I was originally thinking I'd have to use pressure treated wood because that's pretty much all I have is that and some spruce 2x4s, which neither of those are really ideal, but it need to be able to stand up to the weather. But then I realized it's actually made from two pieces. So it looks like it only had to be maybe a foot and a half long for the handle part. You can see this one down here is like that too. So I really just need to replicate this part. So I decided to walk around the yard and see if I can find something better. Alright, so I have a tape measure on here. You can see it needs to be what, uh, 17, maybe 17 and a half inches. So this is some oak I saved from a tree that fell at my grandma's maybe three years ago. Now I was actually storing it inside the building right here. It's only been out for uh, two or three months. I got some concrete put in the building over there. So um, I think I'm going to get a circular saw and hack away at this and see if there's anything good in there. It should be good and dry for you know, a couple inches at least. Okay, so I got it in here on the table. See, this surface is pretty good. It was, it was not on the ground. So it um, got some rain on it, but it wasn't. It didn't have ant ant hills and ants burrowing into it and stuff. The back side was pretty bad. You can see I kind of chipped away with it at an ax with an axe, and it's still some soft stuff on there. But it gets really hard when you, when I hit the axe down in there. So I'm just gonna start cutting away with it with a circular saw. You might have to switch to a hand saw. Recheck this length real quick. It has. I'd like it to be, it looks like 17 and a half is about the length it has to be. I'd like it to be a little longer and something to work with. So, if we can find something good in this upper half right here, then um, I think we'll be in good shape. Let's see, if you look at the wheelbarrow over there. It's only about three quarters of an inch wide. A little under an inch tall, so we don't need much good wood. But let's get the saw and start cutting and see what we can come up with. Alright, but that was a lot of work. Doesn't help that it's 473,000 degrees in here. But it's definitely good wood. That's solid. That's solid. So now, what do I need to do? I need to figure out how to get this piece or this piece off. Who knows? Is it time for a table saw? Maybe about table saw time. 
Yeah, let me clean this up a little bit. We might put it on the table saw. Alright, we got a couple flat surfaces now, so hopefully we can take it over to the table saw and cut it up a little more. Okay, I think what I'm going to try to do is just make a two inch board out of this right here. So cut it right here, flip it over, cut it again. Hopefully these face it parallel enough. And uh, see if we can get through it or get close. Probably take it in a couple passes. So this is the handle from the other side, and you can see it's got like a, it's cut in half right here to made up with the other piece, and it's got two screws to hold the two pieces together, and then that's the screw hole that bolts it to the wheelbar. So I can, if I do it like this and trace along there, I can cut most of that split part out, so I think we'll be okay there. And then this end, where it's a little short, I think it's just long enough. So I'm going to cut this down to the final dimension and then we'll cut the shape into it and figure out how to make this into a dowel handle. Alright, so I'm just going to trace the shape onto here, and then I'll take it over to the bandsaw.
Okay, so there's the part. There's the old one. I've sanded them all down. Just going to finish them with lead seed oil, I think. But first, I need to drill these three holes. I'm going to transfer them over. And they'll be ready to put back together after that. Okay, so here's all the parts. I'll just put it back together in the reverse order how I took it apart. All right, there it is finished. The new oak handles on the far side. This is the old handle. I got a lot of wood left over and it's uh, cut up enough where I can get it with the table saw now. So I'll be able to make some more projects using the oak in the future. And there's another log out there that was flat on one side too. I might try to cut it up one day too. But um, anyways, thanks for watching.